I'm sorry. Can you hear me okay? There you go. Go ahead. I have my nephew who's 23 years old who joined. Um, just a little background on him. He's a manager on a cruise line who is not working right now. Very excited to join. Very enthusiastic. Thought that he can get his little young, his young friends behind him. And because they're also interested in investing. And he like all of a sudden like fizzled. <laughs> um, I also have a friend of mine who, and we're with Jeff, we're with Jeff, we're Jeff's team. Um, and a friend of mine who also was very excited and kind of fizzled. At, how do you get the excitement back? Okay. All right. So let's do some preventive maintenance first. Let's keep them from fizzling. Okay. So <laughs> the reason they fizzle is because they, they don't get trained and they try to go out and talk about the business. You see, and people people laugh at my little text threads, but they really don't understand how how much these threads protect your people from getting their feelings hurt. OK, they, they protect your people. The text threads are not the only way to work the business and they're not designed to keep you from on the, getting on the phone. What they're designed to do is help your new person. Understand the importance of bringing us in as soon as possible. So before I talk about bringing those people back, I want to talk about making sure we don't lose people to the fizzle. Now, let me say this first. A person that's not motivated will fizzle as soon as they get the response they're not looking for. I can't make a person um, non-emotional overnight. You got to give a business a little time to understand that the first five people you talk to may not see the vision. Why? Because you don't even see the vision yet. So I want to make sure this is clear. There's no such thing as protecting a person 100% from themselves because they got their own emotions. They got their own expectations. They've been to 1.2 trainings, barely was watching it, but driving half the time. Now they want to go out and talk about the business. I can't protect everybody and you can't protect everybody. What we can do is set some realistic expectations for people. And the realistic expectation is simple. Why do you think I always say five years? Why do you think our formula is 12, 12, 12? 12 points, 12 people, give it 12 months. $500,000 over the course of what? Five years. What you guys have to do is immediately give a new person realistic expectations. A business is here, just like college was there. Give it freshman, freshman sophomore, junior, and senior time. You got to do that. That's the first thing. Let, let people come in with realistic expectations. Number two, immediately show them the importance of tying their contacts into us. Immediately show them the importance of tying their contacts into us. Here's what I recommend everybody do. A lot of y'all are not going to do it, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to save you a lot of time and heartache if you do this. All your new QFDs, you know what you should do? You should text them tonight when we get when we hang up or between tonight and tomorrow. Text them the first question of the three way text thread. Just text it to them. You know what it's going to do? The first question is, I have a question for you, <laughs> right? They're going to reply what? You're going to say on a scale of one to 10, 10 being no, I'm good. One being 10, I mean, one being no, I'm good. 10 being, oh my God, how important is this statement to you? They're going to be like, what you doing? You're going to say, I'm practicing on the text thread. Just answer the question. Just keep going with me. Now what you're doing, you're showing them what they should be doing. You see, you have to get new people to do what you need them to do by doing it with them. The first time a new person sends a text message should not be to their friend. It should be with you. Jeff, you feel yeah. me? Jeff, like that. Yeah. So yeah. now... What I'm doing is I'm showing you how easy this back and forth dialogue is. Now, well, Brian, who's going to be my expert on the thread? Pull in another pull in another person that's brand new and say, hey, be my expert on this thread for me real quick. Now what I'm doing, I'm training two of my reps on how to use the text thread with me before they go out there and shoot themselves in the foot. I will randomly text my new person, Jeff, and say, hey, I got a question for you. Hey, what is it? On a scale of one to 10, the one being I'm good, it's not, Brian, what you doing? Just follow me, just answer the question. Uh, I'm a 10, perfect. I'm working with a group of mentors who help you with X, Y, Z. Brian, what you doing? What you should be doing. I love go, it. If we go all the way to the end, they're like, is that what you do? I'm like, yes, that's what we're supposed to do. Now, can you give me 10 of those 
this week. That's the second thing we got to do. So number one, we got to expand our new people's vision. Give them realistic expectations. Okay, number two, we got to do the text threads the day they join so they'll see that we're here to protect you from all of that. It's not to make you lazy, it's to get you off to a better start so you don't get your little feelings hurt. And number three, honestly, if people would learn, their job is not to go recruit people. Their job is to show people the power of the financial makeover. Prospects recruit themselves. Your little feelings won't get hurt if a person don't want to lower their taxes. Your little feelings won't get hurt if a person don't want to eliminate debt. Your little feelings won't get hurt if a person doesn't want to lower their bills. Your little feelings won't get hurt if a person don't want to invest. See, your feelings get hurt when you think you got a business and you're trying to offer it to somebody and they don't take it. That'll hurt your little feelings if you're not tough. But your feelings won't get hurt if I say, I, I don't want to adjust my W-4. Then bye. Go overpay taxes. It ain't, it ain't my money. I'm just trying to show you something. So if we expand their vision, if we start the text threads with them to show them how it works, and if we teach them to speak about the makeover, we sh they shouldn't fizzle that fast. Let me be clear. People are going to fizzle because people are weak. That's why most people work a job. They need to be told what to do, when to do it. Just go in. It's easy. It's simple. Most people are weak. Entrepreneurship is for people that are stronger. That's why most people are going to fizzle. All we can do is minimize the fizzle.